So films form these incredible bubbles between wireframes that always try to minimize surface area. The tetrahedron creates this bubble with a vertex in the middle, and if I put a bubble inside it, it's a tetrahedron interior bubble mimicking the wireframe. This symmetric mimicking happens for other shapes as well. Here's a cube bubble inside of a cube wireframe, and here's an octahedron bubble inside of an octahedron wireframe. But a cube without a central bubble actually forms a square, and the orientation of that square depends on how you shape the bubble. There are three symmetric solutions. The octahedron, however, doesn't just have symmetries like the cube. Its interior bubble structure form five fundamentally different possible shapes. For instance, this one has a central tetrahedral vertex, but this one has a central hexagon facet. This one has a central pentagon facet. Each vertex that I've shown you has been the intersection of four lines, while every line is the intersection of three planes at an angle of precisely 120 degrees. These are called Plateau's Laws, and that they always happen was proven mathematically by Gene Taylor using something called geometric measure theory.